Today's video is section 2.1, curve sketching. We'll probably end up having some discussion tomorrow because this is not easy to see in the beginning, um, but it is extremely critical for the entire course. Your homework for this will be 37 through 56 all, 59, 65, and 66. So I guess let me just start by showing you this. This is like a, a parabola. It doesn't have to be a parabola, but like a parabola that has been reflected over the x-axis. And I didn't even drop it in the x-y coordinate plane. I just sketched out a parabola. And we'll call it um, f. So let's just start with this language. When f of x is increasing, so again, f of x has to deal with this function. But f of x, remember, are your y's for the f function. So take these points. And where are the y's increasing, increasing in value? Well, it's over here. The y's are going up, they're increasing. Up at the top, remember it's not increasing or decreasing, but here now my y values are decreasing. So when my y values, or f of x is increasing, which is over here, what about that? Then the first derivative, or the slope of the tangent line to the graph of f, is greater than zero. Okay, what is that again? This is the slope of the tangent line to this graph and we're saying that they're going to be positive values. So, okay, so when what? When my y's are increasing, that's on this side. That's where my y's are increasing. I'm going to take my pencil and roll it around. That's the tangent line. This means the slope of this tangent line is positive. Right, don't you agree? So look at that, it's all positive slope. I just can't do this, because at the top, it's not increasing. So right here, when it's right before it's the top, that's still a positive slope. My slope of my tangent line is positive. When the slope of the tangent line is zero, isn't that this? Here's my tangent line. The slope of the tangent line to the graph of f when it's equal to zero, right? Isn't that slope zero? It's just a horizontal line. f of x, this graph, may have, not always, may have a relative max or min. This one here, it happens to have a relative max. So that's what that means. When I know that the slope of the tangent line is equal to zero, then the graph of f may have a relative max like this one or a relative min. Let me scoot this up. Again, here's my y values. When those y values on f are decreasing, so these y values are going down. They're, they're positive y values and then they're going downward. So the slope of the tangent line where the y's are decreasing, that's over here, right? Let me just roll it around. That's the slope of the tangent line. What about it? Is negative. Isn't that a negative slope? Right? This is a negative slope. Think of your linear equations. And that's what it means to be less than zero. They're negative. Example. Why when you have the slope of the tangent line equaling zero, f of x may have a relative min or max. I'm going to address the may have. I'm going to give an example. Here is an example. If I roll my pin around this, when I get right in here, it can go flat for just a moment and then roll back up. So it doesn't necessarily mean there has to be a relative min or max. It just means right here it could go flat as I'm rolling it around. Right, this is the slope of the tangent line. The slope of the tangent line to the graph of f is equal to zero, right there. So it doesn't mean it's always going to have a relative min or max. So I'll just take a moment, maybe we'll look at this, and then we'll save the discussions for tomorrow when we attempt to do the work. Here's the graph of f. This is the slope of the tangent line to the graph of f. My pencil, right? 
And so we said where it's increasing on f. When f of x, my y values are increasing, my slope is going to be positive. Then here, f of x is going to be equal to 0. The slope of the tangent line is equal to 0, happens to be a relative max. Now the slope of the tangent line is negative. It is negative when? When my f of x values are going down or decreasing. That's my decreasing function, increasing function. So now right here, again, I just have a tangent line. The slope of the tangent line, when it's equal to 0, it's going to be here at the relative min. The moment it starts going up, look at there. It's positive. The slope is positive. When? When this is increasing. The y's are increasing. Here's my increasing function. I will leave it there. Thank you.